Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and this is a tarot reading for Aquarius for October. And we're gonna start with the tarot rider white. Uh, let's see what the universe brings us. I wish you all the best. So one card from here. Page of Swords. <clears throat> Page of Swords um, means that you might get some idea, spontaneous idea, and you're gonna go, uh, you're gonna go for it. And um, here you're gonna be very logical, very strategical, uh, and here is process is more important than the final um, results. Uh, this card will say that could be also some your kids will have some idea. <clears throat> I'm gonna let you know about it. Let's see one more card. But this is uh, creative. Creative. I'm gonna be feeling very creative. Um, your head gonna be full of thoughts. <clears throat> uh, seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. So uh, maybe this idea that you had um, will bring you money. So money-wise, you should be fine. But you're not gonna have uh, your full results uh, just yet. So this might take uh, maybe um, your financial rewards for your hard work before or something you've done before. So it might take like seven months, seven weeks, um, or seven days. So this card will say uh, your hard work will definitely pay off, but not just yet. You need to a little bit of wait. Don't stop working. Don't get discouraged. Don't um, don't complain. Just Just focus on what you love, what you what you do, um, you're definitely going to have your results, you're definitely going to have um, results and your hard work will pay off with evidence. Um, also, this card will say that maybe you need to um, keep an eye on your finances, maybe you need to uh, keep an eye on your income, your outcome, so be in control. Let's see what else. Two, two of uh, swords. Mm. Two of swords um, would say that here we are mm, scared, we are afraid we, to make a decision, to see uh, the truth. We decided to uh, close ourselves up in our thoughts rather than face um, the situation. Here you like also could mean that you are scared to make a decision which uh, you like between the crossroads. You are standing in the middle or you don't know which direction to take. And you don't want to face it because you uh, have fear, you are scared. So here you are uh, in this, in not balanced well uh, with your decisions. What uh, what about your final result? So maybe uh, here we have an idea, uh, but we haven't thought about our. Uh, and uh, end result, and here we too scared to face it. Uh, and this card will um, will say to you that don't be afraid to take to make a decision. Uh, it's no point to take your time in that. Mm, you just need to do it, and that's it. Because here only you. You capable of that uh, because your eyes closed, you closed up. So you need to open your arms, 
wide up and take and take that um, and open your eyes. It's no point to sit um, in this stagnation. Nothing will happen. Nothing will move uh, from from the spot if you not gonna do any actions about it. Okay, the next deck we're gonna use the Dark Mansion Tarot. Uh, three cards from here. So you remember, you in control. If you if you want um, changes in your life, you need to make some actions. You're not sitting and waiting some, so that somebody will come and do it for you. The, the Empress, uh, the high rank card. Great, uh, great card. I think this. If you if you take this from open your eyes, make a decision. That's where you end up. And look at the difference. This woman is. She is the ruler. She is ruling alongside the emperor. She is um, uh, covered in uh, abundance, and she is person um, who is in control. A person who is in charge of other people. So. This card is great in all her aspects, um, so it's a good, stable life in relationship, in work-wise, in health-wise, good health, could be even pregnancy for some people. So it's stability and this connection with the universe herself. So here you are um, we can say riding the horse. You on top. You in control. So I think it's a great place to be. One more card. A page of Pentacles. <laughs> page of Pentacles uh, will say that uh, this idea is about again some beginning of some new idea, very small, just a thought. Uh, so maybe together with this, uh, this card actually could mean some some news. Maybe you get a message, maybe a letter, maybe some phone call. So we had an idea here and now we are making sure we are, uh, is getting materialized. And we are, so we having this idea and we thinking, oh, how to how this idea, how to make, bring it to life, how to make it work. So very focused, very cherished, very happy with this. This is a, a, like a little, uh, like a child. You are so careful and gentle with it, admiring it. Or it's like, um, um, it's like a little seed when we're planting something. Uh, we are so cherishing, we are so hoping for uh, for this seed to, to grow and uh, give us um, some flowers or fruits, what, whatever you're planting. So this is the same idea with a uh, with, uh, page of pentacles. So it's really growing this, uh, this idea what uh, uh, appeared. And we're hoping for, of course, here is in material, so we're hoping it will bring us um, financial um, income. And or that could be uh, your your child. Your child could have some idea, some thoughts, maybe for the future, maybe um, about. Maybe they want to go and get part-time job if they're studying, or maybe they have an idea what they want to study. So that's great. Let's see what one more card. Uh, and we're having the tower. <laughs> the tower, the high rank card. <sighs> Uh, the tower will say to us that uh, a base, uh, uh, 
foundation getting destroyed but it's only destroyed in these areas where it wasn't uh, strong anymore anyway so if you uh, wasn't happy in a relationship at work uh, so that can go to a collapse but like I said it's only in the areas where you wasn't happy already in the first place so it's and in, in able to change something we need to clear up the space we need to clear up the space to build that new foundation to build that new new strong tower where you will be happy and satisfied with your life uh, so because you have only one life uh, you need to enjoy it uh, so mm, this also could mean maybe some um, unexpected news unexpected um, situation in your life uh, this card will also say to pay attention to your health uh, but here uh, the message is something fundamental uh, like I said in different aspects of your life can um, uh, can be broken let's say can can be changed something might my it's time for change um, <clears throat> if everything is perfect and I hope it is um, this card also can mean maybe you simply gonna be do some work in your house Mm, something to gonna be fixed or you're gonna simply do uh, decorating in your house or you decided to <coughs> get rid of old shed, old shed and put a new one so it would be interesting to hear from you how it all works out and next deck we're gonna use the gilded tarot uh, three cards from here for Aquarius as you know I'm Aquarius so it's going to be very interesting how it's all work out for me personally um, <clears throat> let's see Queen of Swords uh, Queen of Swords is actually um, could represent you because um, Queen of Swords is Aquarius um, but also it could be that um, it will be a woman in your life in that period of time uh, that you might ask for professional help so this woman could be a, uh, could be a doctor could be a surgeon so if you have some issues with your health with this card so maybe you will need a surgery um, or this could be a teacher uh, a lawyer um, judge anything if you have some um, uh, something to do with law uh, so uh, some sort of a consultant some to, uh, sort of a profession this person you might seek your uh, professional help we'll see one more card and page of pentacles doubles up you really gonna be thinking about um, how to make uh, money how to maybe get an extra extra income really gonna be focusing on that and looking uh, forward this maybe you're gonna have some uh, small project in your head And then we have Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Knight of Cups could be a person um, in your life, maybe if you are single, so that could be a potential uh, admirer or somebody <clears throat> gonna ask you on a date. Uh, or it could be some news, emotional news. Um, so we'll see the next deck we're gonna use. We're gonna use the Witch's Tarot. 
Let's take uh, three cards from here. Oh, we're having um, the high rank, the lovers. Yes, then definitely if uh, you are alone, you're seeking, please pay attention, people who look around, because here, uh, angels, if you are still single, angels giving you a partner. So closely pay attention for people who are around you in this time, uh, because this uh, Knight of Cups, it could be your potential partner. Um, that the universe will be sent by the universe to you. <clears throat> so the lovers, it's card of uh, partnership, uh, of relationship, of uh, love. Uh, and like I said, the angels um, support you and universe um, guiding you in your partnership. <clears throat> So, like I said earlier, if you're single, so that's very um, big chance that you meet your partner uh, or somebody can uh, <clears throat> invite you for a date. If you already have a relationship, uh, that means that you're going to feel very uh, loved up, very um, caused up. It um, could be even wedding. Um, or you will decide to maybe move in together. Uh, but here, uh, this is card of uh, acceptance and choice also. So you chose yourself and you chose your, uh, chose to walk um, hand in hand alongside each other. Uh, you are not just great lovers, you are great partners, you are great friends. Um, and here walking in harmony. <clears throat> Uh, also, this card will say mm, uh, about great partnership, not just in a relationship, but also in um, in business. If you decide to, to go um, in in business partnership with somebody, so this card will say yes, go ahead. You can trust that person. Um, <clears throat> So, or if you're already with someone in business, a joint business together, the card will say, yes, you, again, you can trust that person. So, we'll see what else. But the lover says, the partner that you chose with your heart and soul. And then we have the moon. Uh, the moon is another high rank card. And the moon will say to us that uh, listen to your intuition. Uh, trust your intuition. Um, this card will, uh, can indicate a pregnancy for some people as well. Um, second card so far. And this card will say that something is hidden from my view. Uh, something we don't see. Uh, um our mind is like in the clouds in the in the pink fog something we're probably too preoccupied with um our <clears throat> ideas so let's ask <clears throat> what don't we see what is hidden from us King of Cups. <clears throat> uh, King of Cups is um, most likely a person. So this, what's hidden from us, is some person um, that's around around us in our life um, could be a sign of pieces and. Um, could be your father, maybe some uh, your boss, your brother, your uh, just your friend, some some figure that we don't see. Well, let's see. I take one more card to ask. Uh, how is helping you? Oh, what 
what you don't see is helping a three of pentacles maybe yes that's more likely with <clears throat> we don't see maybe that some person maybe our boss mm, is mm, helping us or somebody is helping you with with this project mm, with this small project because this card this card of uh, work card of money of focusing and maybe even possibly studying or <clears throat> uh, working uh, on their project that will be uh, financially rewarded so yes something we don't see so yeah that's nothing nothing to worry about so somebody <clears throat> giving us a helping hand basically just not openly and next we're gonna use we're gonna use the light seer start let's see three cards from here so we don't see basically that somebody's helping us and supporting us right one more card <laughs> two, two swords again uh, we had this right at the beginning we are fighting with our thoughts they attacking us and we we fighting them um, uh, but we don't want to open our eyes to to face them basically uh, our fears well take this Take this mask off and face your fears, and you will see that is nothing uh, is not that bad as it seems. It's only in our head. Uh, all you need to do is um, open your eyes. See one more card. The hermit, the high rank. Uh, maybe you need to take uh, take some time, uh, take a pause, stop and focus and rethink uh, what path to take, uh, what direction to take, what you want to do. Maybe um, I would strongly suggest to meditate more and uh, this is this card this is journey to your to your soul to yourself um <clears throat> here you are want to find the <clears throat> inner peace in a balance um want to find what's important for you <clears throat> and here you in this in this deck you like waiting for this enlightenment in yourself in your soul so take to, take your time for journey to your soul right um one more card queen of pentacles queen of pentacles would say that <clears throat> could be a woman in our life in our surrounding <clears throat> maybe helping you um, but this uh, card also said that this card also uh, indicates on pregnancy or money wise you're gonna be um, Material, uh, material wise, like financial wise, you're gonna be calm and stable. You're gonna be or peaceful. Or this is gonna be a person in your life. <clears throat> Maybe a, a woman gonna help you financially. Great. Let's ask the angels for advice. <clears throat> Blessing in disguise. <clears throat> Look at this angel waiting. 
What appears to be a problem is actually part of your answered prayer. I think this reflects so much. So something is bothering you, but actually it's it's going to be a freedom. It's going to be a relief with this card. You understand the reasons behind your present situations as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and in white wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. Oh my God, this is basically... Um, reflects on our, our reading today so much, everything. Yes, uh, embrace all the changes with a smile. Everything's going to be for the best. Uh, trust the universe, believe in yourself. It's just amazing how the uh, universe talking to us. And let's ask the nature's oracle. What they tell us. And they have been saying potential getaway. So maybe it will be an opportunity for you to go traveling. Or go somewhere beautiful, somewhere new. Great reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please don't forget to check your ascendant. Sometimes this works out um, stronger than your sun zodiac. Uh, please like, subscribe and join us and um, leave your comments. I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time. Bye.